Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to create, configure, and remove user account through the command prompt in Windows 8.1. I have Windows 8.1 running in VirtualBox for this video, but this will work on XP, Vista, and 7 as well. I'm going to begin by going to the left hand corner of the screen. You can do this either off the desktop or the start screen, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on Command Prompt Admin. And I'm going to begin by showing you the help command. So I'm going to start off by typing net forward slash help. And I hit enter. The help command shows a syntax that you can use with the command. And I'm going to be using the user command a lot throughout the video. So I'm going to type net space user space forward slash help. And then hit enter. Here it shows all the options that we can use with the command. As you can see, there's quite a few and we'll be using most of these. And one thing I want to mention before we get started is Windows is not case sensitive. It doesn't matter if you type in upper or lower case, it'll accept both of them. And the first thing I want to do is create a user account. And I'm going to be using the add option. And as you can see here, the add option adds a user account to the user accounts database. So I use the CLS command to clear the screen. And now I want to create a user account. And I'm going to name the new user John. So I'm going to type net user forward slash add and then the name of the user and I'm going to hit enter it says the command completed successfully and now I want to view the user accounts to make sure that John is a member of them so I'm going to type net user and hit enter and it shows John account is a member of the user accounts now next I want to password protect John's account by assigning a password so I'm going to type net user the user's name and then the password and for this video I'm going to make it very simple I'm just going to make it an exclamation point and I'm going to hit enter and I do not suggest using a generic password such as this this is only for quickness and ease for the video and now we have a user account the user's name is John and John's password is an exclamation point and I'm going to show you one other way to set a password if I type net user the user's name space and an asterisk and I'm going to hit enter it's asking me to set the password for the user. And what's nice about this command, this command is actually a lot safer. It doesn't show the password as you're typing it on the screen. So I've already typed the exclamation point. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to retype it. Hit enter again. And it says the command has completed successfully. Next I want to view the user's profile. So I'm going to type net user. And then the user's name. And hit enter. This gives a more detailed view of the profile, and we're going to be filling more of this in as we go. And right now, John doesn't have a full name, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a full name. So I'm going to type net user, the user's name, forward slash full name, all one word, colon, and then the user's full name with no space. And hit enter. It says the command completed successfully, so I'm going to type net user. And then the user's name, John. And I'm going to hit enter. And right here it shows the full name as John Doe. Next, I'm going to add a comment to the account. So I'm going to type net user, the user's name, forward slash comment, colon. And once again, you type the comment with no spaces. So I'm going to say, hello, John. And hit enter. So if I type net user, John, hit enter, right here in the comment it says hello John. And now I'm going to add a user's comment. So I'm going to type net user and the name of the user. So it's John forward slash user comment colon hello. And I'm going to hit enter. And the command completed successfully. So I'm going to type net user John. hit enter and now under users comment it says hello if we go down a little further here we can see that the account is active account expires is never so now I'm going to deactivate the account by typing net user the username forward slash active colon no and I'm going to hit enter I'll type net user John 
hit enter. And now you can see the account is not active. And it's better to deactivate the account rather than deleting it. If the user has important information, deactivating the account would preserve that information. Deleting it would permanently remove the information and you would not be able to retrieve it. So now it says the account never expired. So we're going to give John's account an expiration date. So I'm going to type net user, the user's name, forward slash expires, colon, and I'm going to give the date that I want it to expire. I'm going to hit enter. It says it completed successfully, so I'm going to type net user, the user's name, and hit enter. And now we have a date for when the account will expire. You can also set when the password expires, when the password is changeable, if a password is required, and if the user may change the password. And remember, you always have the help command if you get stuck on a command. Next, I'm going to type CLS to clear the screen. And now I'm going to reactivate John's account. So I'm going to type net user, the user's name, forward slash active, colon, yes. And I'm going to hit enter. I'll type net user John. And now the account is active. And I'm going to go ahead and delete John's account. So I'm going to type net user, the user's name, John forward slash del for delete and hit enter. It said it completed successfully so now if I type net user and hit enter now you can see John's account is no longer among the user accounts list. And that's how you create a user account, set a password for the account, set an expiration date for the password, activate or deactivate the account, and finally delete the account. All through the command prompt in Windows 8.1. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.